hello and welcome back to my youtube channel i thought i would look a lot better with my next video <laughs> but this is basically what i look like all of the time now um from the title of this video you will know um i am coming off the depo Brevera. it is the um injection contraceptive basically that you get every 12 weeks to prevent ovulation and prevent pregnancy basically before that for nearly a year i was on the pill the mini pill um and i had multiple accidental pregnancies that then all miscarried very early on which is why i went on the depot and also i got told that because of heavy cramping and bleeding and horrible periods basically that the depot would stop my period and help with that and it did eventually um it can take nine to ten months to get pregnant after coming off the depot so because we were thinking of trying early next year for baby number two which is something we were going to get into on like a whole video but i never seem to film anymore so i thought i'd just explain it all in one video um we thought you know come off now because you know it, it, it will give enough time basically for my ovulation to come back completely it officially ended August 9th and it's now August 4th, 13th so it's been four days and I at least once a week do a pregnancy test that's like an actual like stick I do a test oh there we go wait a test stick a test strip and then an ovulation strip and they are always negative and they have been i've had no accidental pregnancies no accident you know no miscarriages no nothing while being on the defo um but i'm now off it and i know i'm going to experience probably a lot of weird symptoms from being withdrawn from it at the moment my temperature is like i feel like i'm burning <laughs> um so yeah i'm about to do all of these just because it's like ritual to do especially when you're on a contraceptive that means getting rid of uh, getting rid of a barrier method it's always good to test at least a couple of times a month to be safe i'm a very impatient person so i don't usually wait like three minutes because it's usually like pretty much instant anyway when you do a pregnancy test ovulation tests can sometimes take a little bit longer but it's very clear that that is a negative test hold up both lines need to be as dark as each other for an ovulation test to be positive. If you're just seeing two lines, like a faded line and a dark line, that still means that you're negative and they have to both be like dark, if that makes sense. Pregnancy test is negative. And my other pregnancy test is negative. I've done this a couple of times on videos to kind of show the fact that normalizing ovulation and pregnancy tests when you are on contraception just to be extra careful it's the only way to like really know your own cycle to know your own symptoms and if it's not pregnancy and it's not this and you're experiencing symptoms of pregnancy and you're worried then obviously the best thing to do is for any provider obviously in my last video i talked about my fnd diagnosis and the plan from there was to kind of talk more about it and be kind of another person online who kind of advocates for fnd um but i've had so many flares that i have like maybe three to four days of a month where i can like actually do stuff and because there's so much going on at the moment i literally haven't had a chance to well i have filmed a video but again it's having to edit and everything it's just it's so time consuming that around the time i did post my last few videos every single time in the middle of trying to edit something would happen and then i'd have to go back to it a few days later or a week later and it was taking me so long so i am going to still try to post videos but they probably won't get to a point where like i'm pretty consistent until 
all of the stuff that's going on is over again it's another video that we need to talk about because life at the moment is just it's chaotic and it's also limbo at the same time so but yeah that's the update um we're not on the depot anymore we're hopefully going to try for baby number two at some point in like early next year if we can fall pregnant at that point it might take longer we don't know i obviously haven't been pregnant in like nearly three years as <laughs> bella's turning three this month so yeah it's a lot of stuff that's going on it's only going to be a short video this one anyway but yeah that's the update at the moment